This man Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there, that's if you still living, grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yeah. I felt like when I won the first Olympics, that's the first time I felt that. But it was like, I just felt like everything I had been working for. I had started my Olympic journey at the age of 13. Mm -hmm. So to go there at 17 Damn. was like... This shit, like, I'm a 13-year-old girl walking around, like, from practice. I got a black eye. I got a bruise on my arm. They thinking I'm fucking crazy. And they talking about some, that crazy-ass girl thinks she going to the Olympics. And I'm like, I am. But they like, man, she, people, people in my family was like, can't believe Michelle let, let, letting her little baby go down there and get her eye blacked up. Not, like, they ain't, they didn't really understand, like, the significance of what I was doing. Right. You know, so when I did it, it was like, finally, I can prove everything that I said was right. Like, I'm an Olympic champion, you know, but everything didn't really come together. You know, I didn't get no endorsements, no, like, no sponsorships, the big Nike deals and all that. The first African-American woman, the first American period to be an Olympic medalist in boxing, gold medalist, and I didn't get shit but a gold medal. But I was, I was cool with that. Then I went back the second time and got all my, you know, got another gold medal. I had some endorsements and sponsorships, but I feel like, I've been pro for seven, se seven years now. I'm 29. I turned pro at 21, 22. So I'm pro about seven, six years. I can say I think that now, right now, as I'm sitting here, I feel like everything is finally starting to, like, to come together and make sense. Like my brand, um, the followers, the fight venues, the opportunity, like the, the pay that I get for fighting. It's starting to come together now. And even though I've got all these accomplishments and I've beat everybody from weight class 54, 60, 68. And now my next fight, I'm fighting at another division to become another, a four-time division world champ. Okay. So I feel like now it's all making sense. Like I can have, I got a huge backing with my fans and my supporters. I make a lot of money from fighting. Uh, I got... I make money off YouTube. I make money off Facebook. Um, just, I know I know my look. I know what clothes fit me the best. Um, I know what I want to represent and what I want to be attached to. And for a long time, I didn't know those things. So I think right now, at the age of 29, now all this shit starting to make sense. But up at first, I just was like, I just want to fight. I don't, I don't care about looking nice, hair, uh, nails, you know, I don't care about that stuff. But now it's like I have kind of like a good balance of like, okay, so I like to wear my hair. You know, if I'm not going to wear makeup, how my face should be. Um, you know, stuff like that. But at, at first, I I really I really had no idea even how to wear my hair. Like I wore, I don't probably wear every style. You follow my page, I, got, I had straight hair. I done had the braids. I done had wavy hair different kind of parts and styles. And I can say some of the shit was ugly. <laughs> I'm not, I don't care. It, it, I but care. I was trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And as people was like, you know, you trying to figure it out. You don't get no privacy because you're in front of the whole world. They all judging you. But now I finally feel like I figured out my look and everything. So now it, it definitely makes sense now. And it's definitely helping the brand for sure. That's what's up, man. You, was, you rap now? Yeah, I do that too. Come on now. And hold on, bro. Before you get into that, though, you was rapping about a girl, Savannah. Yeah. Right? Why are you rapping about her? She She's one of the one only people to beat you, right? In the amateur, but I, I whooped her in the pro. How you though. lose to her, though? Was it like some technicality or shit, or what happened? They robbed me. Oh, okay. I never felt like I lost to her. 
But she held on to that loss for so many years. I mean, she talked about it for 10 years <laughs> till we actually fought in the pros for the Undisputed Championship in the UK. And I whooped her ass, won unanimously. We had to wait 10 years to get that fame back. Yeah, but man, she had the world convinced me. That girl was 13 and no 12 knockouts. I mean, she was sleeping okay. bitches. She told everybody she was going to sleep me, had all the fans thinking she going to sleep me. Even some people in boxing, like Jake, you know, Jake Paul, he predicted her to knock me out. Um, it was a few other folks too, but I just was like, yeah. hmm. You had okay. to go all the way over there and beat her ass. I'll go anywhere in the world to whoop anybody ass. Had to go eat that nasty <laughs> ass food to beat that girl. Now ass. you in the boxing world. Have you got to see Jake Paul ah, yeah, in person? Like, is he Have even I like. Have seen a, that fool in person? Is he official? <laughs> Have you watched any of his fights? I watched some. I mean, even if he official, I don't think he Mike Tyson official. No, man. No, but then we talking about. 58-year-old Mike Tyson. I don't give a fuck. Man, shit. I grew up in the term where Mike Tyson was the baddest motherfucker in the world. I think Mike Tyson will whoop the shit out of Jake Paul. Me too. All the way. <laughs> you I don't know what? Think Mike Tyson finna go in there and yeah. box. He finna grind this shit. It's gonna be yeah. gunpowder. Gunpowder. Remember Jake Paul ain't fought no real. <laughs> when the motherfucking Bugs Bunny turned the motherfucker <laughs> to a powder, gunpowder, and it just be eyeballs. <laughs> That's what the fuck. That's man. what I'm expecting. But nobody has beat Father Time. I she, think he, he can go in there. Mike Tyson will whoop Father Time. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about no records or none of that. Mike Tyson got some Bruh. punches. That's that's in his highlight reel. That don't even look humanly Man, possible, bro. Face is like I seen Mike cartoon. Tyson hit a motherfucker <laughs> in they whole fucking head. Not like this. They whole goddamn head. Not a bend. They face they went face. on their shoulder, my nigga. Like oh, like like some shit fell out. A the nigga system. way bigger than him. Mike Tyson got that. I've been around Mike Tyson a couple times. And recently at my last fight when I won in Saudi, and he was finna whoop a dude ass there. I'm telling Hold you. on. I'm about to tell you how bad Mike Tyson <laughs> If Mike Tyson walked in this motherfucker right now, everybody shut the fuck up. Right now? Yep. <laughs> Nigga got quiet thinking about it. <laughs> Nigga got quiet thinking about the shit. <laughs> seen Mike Tyson walking one time. Uh -huh. We was in fucking Vegas. Mike Tyson was walking, and that nigga had 20 security guards behind him. You could tell he didn't have shit to do with them. Whoever <laughs> hired him to do what he was doing gave Mike enough security. I, you know, for people. Mm -hmm. But they were walking behind him. I was like, don't that kind of defeat the purpose? They were scared of him. Bro, security was scared when of Mike him. Tyson walked in, people shut the fuck up, naturally. <laughs> like you a bear in that bitch. You probably should. You, you must. Just until he say something. But this Jake Paul shit. Yeah. Bro, that shit would destroy my spirit if Jake Paul put up a good fight. <laughs> right. Anybody can win it if he even get a lick in. Because he ain't fought no boxers yet. He fought against uh, that dude can't Tyson box. Fury, little brother, Tommy Fury. Did you watch that? That dude I can't did. box. I think all that shit fake anyway. He'd be like, look, we finna do some Man, shit. Yeah. But look, you can't win. I'm not gonna pay you if you win. Because <laughs> he already won. Huh? Tommy Fury won. But I'm saying yeah. that he had to. He couldn't win all of them. He won by decision. He oh, my like, God. Yeah. He can't win all of them. He is the motherfucker making all the money. He is the one. And he paying them to fight. He the reason that they even so had to fight. So if you, hey, some shit. They got Mike happen. Tyson out of retirement. But I'm just saying, like, I, listen, I want Mike Tyson to land that punch and knock him out. Now, we will see a real Mike Tyson for as long as, for as, long as that we can. Mm -hmm. But it's like, he got a switch. And once that switch is on, it's hard to cut off. So even... Even if, let's say, he 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 hit Mike Tyson with a punch, right? And Mike Tyson don't get his punch back by the by the end of the bill. I'm gonna be scared for the ref <laughs> <laughs> because you can't tell like Tyson give you a look and you know you better get the fuck on. That's the ref. shit I'm talking about. They had two refs. That's the shit I'm talking about. They had two refs, bro. One for each arm. Listen. I won't, I won't Tyson do it because I'm not no man. fan of Jake Paul. I think he talked too much shit and he had the easy route, uh, easy route in the boxing. So do you I ain't really no fan of him. Like he's that. brought a lot of attention to boxing. You think he's good for it in that way? Yeah, hey, he the reason I got my YouTube channel. Uh, Motherfucker just that. came from boxing with one million subscribers and then you fighting for millions of bucks and ain't done shit. Well, shit, I'm doing, I'm doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Let me go and get the YouTube shit Ooh. going and then I'm gonna come back 
to boxing and hopefully get this shit out. Because I got all the belts and shit. It's like, I guess the belts don't matter. I guess the YouTube followers matter. Yeah, but he didn't do, he been doing that shit for like 20 years. Yeah, yeah since he was a boy. Yeah, since high school. Yeah, I saw some of his little videos. I, I never knew who the fuck he was since he started boxing. I don't know how many of them it is. It's Jake, Logan, and then they got another brother, and they be sharing girl. I just too much drama. <laughs> yeah. What? Them motherfuckers, <laughs> that's a mean little regular-ass family. They, yeah, because the other brother is in the WWE, right? Yeah, yeah Logan. Yeah. He the one that fought against Floyd. He fought Floyd. I don't know how he fought against Floyd being 180 and not 90 pounds. Logan, big as shit. He was. Now, I was seeing that you and this lady on land was going back and forth about having yeah. a fight. Bum bum. Mm hmm. Bum gone. You want to fight at 154? Shit, she called me out. Why the fuck I'm going to look that way? 154 is the lowest I'm going to, to whoop her ass. And she want to fight at 147. Fuck her. Oh, man. She don't call no shots. She the B side. Yeah. Mm. When the beef start? You gotta ask her. She ain't I don't here. think she's gonna be on here. No, I'm saying, like, <laughs> no, I'm saying, it was, it was one day, I was laying in bed at nighttime, she was on live. I'm, I'm, we call each other sis, we cool as hell. Oh, shit. And she on there talking about some, yeah, I'll fight against Clarissa Shields. I da da da. I da da. Like, she's talking. I'm like, let me come on a live, you feel me? She don't invite me to the live. So I'm just like on there commenting, like, Girl, I'm about to text you. I text her. I'm like, hey, you bored again? <laughs> she like, because the first time she called me out. No, first time she called me out a, a month earlier, I texted her. And she wrote back like, girl, I'm just bored, just stirring up shit. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. You, you good. I don't give a fuck. She like, I'm just stirring up shit. I don't, I don't mean nobody. All right, cool. Okay. Because you want to scrap. Like, we can scrap. So this time she did it that night. I texted her like, girl, you bored again? She was like, no, I'm dead ass. I'm mm. like... Dead ass joking or dead ass serious? I don't know what you're saying. And she was like, "Yeah, I want to fight you. I've been wanting to fight you." I'm like, Damn. "You've been wanting to fight me, and we've been in the same gym. And you never even asked to spar. You didn't even tell me yes to sparring. Like, what are you talking about? Like, bro, you're at 1:30. She was like, "Let's fight at 47." I'm like, "Pretty set. I've never even fought boxing at 47 in the pros. And at first, on a friendly tip, I'm like, you know what?" I get it. You want to prove yourself against me. You know, you think you're good enough now. Okay, I'll come to 47 just to fuck you up. Because I go to, I really would try to get down there just for the fact. But then as it continued, she got more and more disrespectful, popping more and more. And I said, oh, shit, I'm thinking this is a friend. This is a motherfucking enemy. Mm -hmm. Let me click my switch on on this bitch and let her know. Like, I, I was just being nice because I thought it was cool, but... I'm not soft. I would really fuck you up. So I kept the peace. And we get on the plane. I'm looking good as fuck, by the way. I'm going to go see a movie about my life in L.A. She on the plane. This girl pulls out her camera, starts recording me, mm -hmm. talking shit That's on the plane. I, I thought I was about to get put off the plane because I was about to spark this bitch. Can't do that. Oh, I would have been banned from flying. Yeah, that would have been crazy. But it was a point of like, oh, shit, she thinks something, something sweet. So I, I done cut into her on a plane, cussed her out and said some shit to her. I went and sat down. She posted a video. I, uh, I reshared it. Um, you know, people, people don't even know who she was. So then we got off the plane. I couldn't even find her because you know I was looking for her. <laughs> Once we got off the plane, because no, you didn't. Oh, so you've been talking shit about me online, being disrespectful, and then you put your camera out when you when you see me. I'm about to let you know. Certain motherfuckers you don't play with, and I'm one of them. Like, quit playing with me before I break your fucking jaw. Like on my mama. Like, quit playing. Oh, it's just a. I, I, so I couldn't even find her off the plane. <laughs> so as we continue, now we online. You being disrespectful. I'm about to, hey, you go low, I go to hell. Fuck you. <laughs> so it, it was over for her. And I mean, I'll. Oh, we got set. You drop, you drop dirty for PEDs. Let's stop sweeping out under the rug. Mm. You know, just, and then you calling me out tomorrow, so you'll knock me out at 47. You, yeah, you're gonna need PEDs to do that for sure. So make sure you're taking them to get, to get ready for me. And then I just had to let her know. I said, I was being nice on a friendly tip to fight you at 47. But on a real note, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the pound for pound number one. I ain't got to come to you. You get 
acknowledgement and people know who you are from me. Why I gotta come? You wanna fight? Bring your little ass to 154 and, I, and, and I'm gonna show you why you shouldn't have came fucking with me. And everybody from her team told her, you need to leave, you need to leave that one alone. But she just so, it's an envious thing. You know what I'm saying? She, I was so nice to her when we was friends, she thought I was soft. But she was just envious and she's upset. She wants to be the only pretty girl in boxing, the only undisputed person in boxing. She want to be known as just the best. And it was like, motherfucker, I was here first and I'm more accomplished than you. Mm. And I ain't ugly, so get that shit out your fucking head. We gotta make this. Just because happen. I'm darker than you don't mean that I'm ugly, bro. And then she just keep talking, and then that's why I ran up on her in person. Fuck that bitch. You wanna fight, bitch? Let's get it cracking. I don't think she wanna do that. So it's, I don't uh, think she wanna one, fight me, period, but so it's anybody that do right now. It's 154, or she can shut the fuck up like she been doing. There you go. Heard it here first. Period. <laughs> 154 or nothing, nigga. Get your shit together, bomb gardener. Damn. You, you're a good promoter. Oh, yeah, man. I'm trying to get this fight happening. Obviously, she wanted. it. I just seen how she was moving her hands and shit. She, she ready to get to it. I didn't want to whoop anybody who talks some shit. That's what I, I know. That's what, that what started the whole got, MMA shit. Who you got next? I can't announce it on here. Oh. When is, when is dropping? Shit, when you tell us to drop it. I'm real. Okay. Go on. <laughs> when y'all dropping it? Hey, 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 bro. When y'all dropping it, though? Like, it's like... Whenever you say. Next, n- next week, two weeks, when is it? We'll drop it ASAP. <laughs> ASAP. We can get, hey, start editing this, Joe. Oh, she want this to drop. Right now. Right now. No, start now. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking when, though. Please. No, because... I'm, I'm fighting again in July. In July, okay. If y'all, if y'all, oh, be if y'all, if y'all free, July 27th. Vegas. What? LCA in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, come on, man. Little got me, got me a little Caesar strong here. out there, man. At little Go see over there. Oh, oh yeah, of course. At the little love Detroit. Yeah, so that's what I'm fighting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fighting Little Caesars. Uh, last time I fought there last year, I had 12,000 fans come out. We're trying to get 16, 17,000 this time. So come on. 20. We're going for 20. Hey, it only hold 18, but if we can get... Oh, get well, somebody got to stay outside. Yeah, some SROs. We need some motherfuckers in the parking lot listening to it on the radio. Parking lot party. Like <laughs> Old school. <laughs> and another left. And <laughs> Clarissa throw the right. <laughs> She's <laughs> giving the old stuff. Pound right in the kisser. She's right in the kisser. Abusing the snot box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Stay tuned, folks. We got a message from Domino's Pizza coming right up. <laughs> So, you know, a lot of a lot of fighters that, you know, get well accomplished, they usually kind of start their own um, uh, gym or have fighters. Do you have some fighters that you want to bring or young fighters that you want to bring in? Talk about them. Show them some love. So I got a um, Shields Community Irish Corporation. That's my 501c3. Okay. That's my foundation where I train kids. Trained over 200, 300 kids so far. I heard. I got some people that stand out, like my little nephew Bradford Johnson is a really good boxer. Bradford Johnson. He's you 10 years playing? old. Yeah. Okay. That's my sister's son. Gotcha. Um, Zakaya is a girl, probably about like nine years old. I got footage of her, actually. She's really good. Nine. Dang. She hasn't had any fights yet, but she can fight. You can see it already. Yeah. yeah. She and It's crazy. It's weird because I had baby pictures, and she's nine now. But we looked exactly alike when we were kids. So it's weird. Like, she looked like me when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. It's strange. It'd be like that. I have, to, I have to show you the pictures, and you'd be like, this is some crazy shit. Yeah. But no, like, Strong she, genes in the family. Mm-hmm. Twin. No, that is, she not my family. Oh, oh I, I thought, thought you were talking about Oh, you me. said it was your nephew. No, my nephew is my and nephew. She's talking about another girl but nine years old. Okay. Zakaya, yeah. Okay. I, I, we just met last year when I was training her. But man, I, I seen her. And I show her dad my baby picture. And he looked at his daughter. I said, what the fuck? Right. Like, that's weird. Right. What's your grandma's name? <laughs> Did she right. do this? <laughs> <laughs> Line niggas up like this. That's so gangsta. I can, I can really see some niggas. You know I mean? yeah, that, nah, that's the most illest shit ever. That's just... <laughs> From an old lady, though? Who yeah. she beefing with? Who is she beefing with? Get hit with them rings, bro. Y'all be acting like old people don't got beef. My granny, my granny, ain't. Stay with I ain't me. seen my grandma fight, that's all. <laughs> but you don't know if she ever fought though. No, I'm sure she did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was, it's civil rights. You got to fight for your right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> she ain't no hoe. 
But, <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't seen her just scrapping and beating. You know what? We all had different upbringings because I've seen my great grandmother fight somebody, yeah, man. Lee, yeah. now, we, now this is crazy. Who is your. <laughs> I'm serious, though. So my great granny is like a person who watched like the block. She, you know how them old people are, how they be looking through their window, looking at the porch, like, and they know everything that's going on up on the block. Yeah. That was my great grandma. Damn. And man, I'm telling you, one time I watched her run off the porch and just hit this little light skinned lady in the face. Wow. Damn. We, nobody even knew why it happened, but <laughs> but the girl, the girl she hit, the, the the old lady she hit, had a daughter. Her daughter was like, "Why her? She put her hand. I'm like, she want to find my great granny. So my ain't Tammy finna whoop her ass. Damn. So I'm I'm, I'm I was probably Damn. about like eight nine. I'm like, who ass I'm finna whoop? Damn, any of the men in the family? Ain't no kids fight? in y'all family? You're right, where the men at? Ain't nobody. <laughs> where the fuck the men at? Ain't nobody went to go get no brother, no uncle, no nothing. It's like, go get my auntie. Go get your auntie. Oh, shit. I grew up around my great grandma, too. She was one of them ladies who used to just know all the business in the neighborhood. Yeah. She was old, and she used to get the information confused. You know they say that boy had some dope in that car. Oh. <laughs> that car the other day I seen up there. You know that one. <laughs> you know that boy. You know that boy. <laughs> what that boy name? You know him. You know him. <laughs> <laughs> the one who had the dope. Y'all yeah. know him. Y'all was up the street with him. <laughs> Stay out them damn cars. Man, they said my great-grandmother was racist. <laughs> Crazy enough. Who? She was white? Mm -hmm. Your great grandma, a white lady? Yeah, she got caught. She got caught. <laughs> you are her. You are caught karma. by a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real. For being right. Now you a whole nigga. Whole that part nigga of the I family hear. is washed away. And <laughs> destroying these white women. <laughs> yeah, hell, hell. no more. Putting these white women through hell, Los. <laughs> you should. All because of my great grandma. <laughs> Talk about reparations. <laughs> Suck my toes, white bitch. <laughs> this is for my great grandmama. <laughs> That's fucked up. It is, man, but it, so was that. You feel me? It's like tip for tat. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't had nothing to do with that other shit. I'm just trying to like get the back end for slavery type shit. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> and the crazy part is, it's going to be some white ladies who watch this and hear that, and they're going to hit you. Yeah, they are. They want to get disrespected. They want to. Come on, man. <laughs> That's all they need. They don't have enough, like, you know, black people got, like you say, black people, like, it's like playing mad, and our life is exciting enough. We ain't got to jump out of planes and do no. crazy shit. So white people need a little, you know what I mean? She need a little toe in her mouth. A little razzle-dazzle. little razzle <laughs> Come on, man. Hit them with the razzle-dazzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, boom, real quick. Um, 85 on it. Just dropped in it on the, on the app. Yep. Come on, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all. I want to show love to y'all. <laughs> Have me in my motherfucking hometown on stage at the U2 Theater, man. That shit was dope as fuck, bro. I'm going to yeah. tell you that. And also, you had made <laughs> some niggas nervous with, with your speech before the show. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Nigga like, man, this shit will change your life. I, saw, <laughs> I ain't going to say who. I looked at one nigga. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, Lowe's the guy that that nigga's head. Damn. <laughs> it was a great speech, though. Run a speech. <laughs> Run it. That you shit was dope. speech? Yeah, nah, that shit was fire, man. So salute to y'all again, man. Y'all always showing love, so I wanted to make sure I mention that. You yeah, know what I mean? Man, we appreciate you, bro. You nah, really nah, did your thing y out there. But that shit was fun, that, man. man. Shout out to Netflix. I, yeah. Shout out That's to Netflix, joke. man. Hey, you said you had a movie made about your life. What's it called? Oh, yeah. Said you went to L.A. to see it. Yeah, well, back then, it was called Flint Strong. Mm -hmm. Now they've changed it to The Fire Inside. You made them change it? No. Oh. I had nothing to do with that. Gotcha. <laughs> That's what they do. But um, yeah, they do. it comes out. Well, can I, can I tell y'all yet? Yeah, yeah tell us. Why you guys are nice, nigga? Tell us. <laughs> you know how everything's like top secret and shit. Um, my movie drops on Christmas. Okay, okay. come on. Okay. The and Fire Inside. In movie theaters. Yes. Uh, Ryan Destiny played me. And I mean, she played the shit out of me. Ryan Destiny is from... Uh, Detroit? Yes, but uh, no, why, why do I know that name? though? What else she played in? Oh, a lot of stuff. She played in uh, Stars. Um, what's that movie? It was a show called Stars. Look it up, y'all. Help me out. Yeah. Grownish. Grownish. She got some stuff on YouTube. She sing, I mean, not YouTube, but Netflix. She sing, yeah. sing songs and stuff. Dope. Yeah, and I, and I met her on her birthday. when I, I So I saw the movie, mm -hmm. and then the next day I met her, and it was her birthday. 
And we were dang near like crying and screaming when we seen each other because I just was like, oh my God, you played the shit out of me. I don't know how you do that. Um, oh, so you didn't meet her until it came out? Uh-huh, but we had talked on the phone. Got you. Um, FaceTime, message back and forth because she was doing certain scenes and she was like, well, I'm doing this scene and this with your mom. Like, what was our relationship like? Because she wanted to get the emotions and shit right. And um, I'm happy she came to me and actually got it. You know what I'm saying? But even how they portrayed my mom, I'm like, man, this is... Um, it's, it, 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 but... I think the movie will, it will explain the, it will explain the hardness and it will explain my attitude. Um, I really have an attitude that if you ain't with me, you're against me. So it's fuck you. I really have an attitude like that. So I think that the movie will explain that. Yeah, so I can't wait till it come out. We can't either. I hope you have this. You doing a premiere? They doing a premiere in- Yeah, we're gonna do a few premieres. LA, Flint, Detroit. Atlanta. <clears throat> okay, I'm glad you coughed that one in there. Yeah, okay. I mean. Come on, man. Why you keep leaving us out? Hey, I, I don't want to. I just said she love Atlanta. I do love Atlanta. Yeah. Trying to get them out here. Speaking of, y'all got any cousins, sisters, know how to fight? What? That know how to fight or wanna fight? Know how to fight. Oh shit. You oh, we all got one ass kicker in the fucking family. Mm-hmm. She a mama though. What I got one cousin, can't nobody beat up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck with nobody. Yeah. She undefeated. Undefeated. Yeah. With they came her? to my they came to the house to jump, but she whooped everybody. <laughs> I like her already. Whooped everybody. Yeah. The girl who was driving got it to work. She ain't had <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up driving home, fucked up. That is one of those fights that you don't even get out there and break it up. You just watch because you know she's gonna run through everybody. Mm. She's a pit bull. Damn. I, I didn't know that she had that inside of her. Now, my family is talkers. Um, if you need you know, oh, okay, okay. podcasts or something. Well, you need, you I, looking for some fighters? I got I got a hundred K for any girl that can whoop me. Oh, hold on, let me call. Wait a minute. Say it. You oh, anybody can whoop you. No, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't finna put my family through that. Hundred K, you what kind of nigga you, you think I am. You didn't see my worldwide <laughs> challenge? I love my family. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a worldwide challenge? Yeah. What? You, you sure about this? I'm 100 percent sure you. Hold on, man. I'm saying, you're okay. saying, what's what's the challenge? Oh, no, let me put this on IG. I please. have a uh. hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars for any female or any female boxer that can whoop my ass. And whoop your ass means put like the in gl- a boxing match or yeah, just like it's, fight? It's, it's boxing gloves, but they can come how they is though. Come, <laughs> come how you is. <laughs> it's like church. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna bless you. So you saying. How, how, do, how do you even go about that? How do you pick yeah. who you gonna fight? They gotta put up a hundred? No! Oh, okay. Uh-uh. It's just straight up, I'm gonna get, it's sponsored. Sponsored. Listen, oh. you wanna fight, you think you can whoop me. Man. Cause I ain't, cause I ain't all that. That's the TV show. So you think you can whoop <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back after these two uh, ads. <laughs> hey, all y'all niggas with them wigs on on IG, man, go ahead, try one. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to get, get the challenge. Yeah, get your you know, ass You know, went low. You know, went low. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get your ass whooped, too. $100,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you going to pick who you going to fight? I ain't got to pick shit. They going to show up trying to fight me. But what I don't if think a bunch they of are. people show up? <laughs> That's my thing. You announcing this worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to have a hundred fights. You want to fight one motherfucker. Oh, okay. How you going to pick out? If you got you 10 people, pick? how you going to pick one of them to fight? They should knock each other off. Then, oh, damn. They got it. Yeah, whoever, whoever beat up all the other girls, <laughs> get them a prize. And then you get to me. Who so they gonna be too set tired? Up like a bracket? You gonna be like at the end? Well, I guess a hundred thousand, you gotta, you should have to work for it a little bit. I, I ain't Well, and then you still gonna get something for beating up the other girls. Listen here. I'm about to, I'm about to have a show that come out. And well, I you just in the house, and then whoever can beat you get a hundred thousand dollars. You should fight one of the girls from Bad Girls Club, like, because they think they tough. I called her Ivory. <laughs> don't be trying to fight for civilians. I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be fighting niggas that don't No, fight. but wait a minute. What you mean civilians? These girls is... She a boxer? Street. No, Ivory's a street, a street fighter. Well, if you can adapt and do MMA, what if they was like, okay, then, but you can't use none of your boxing shit. You just got to fight me like a real bitch. <laughs> but what does that mean? Fight for like no, nah, you can't do all. They be like, no, nah, get out your stands. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no stands. You gotta just fight like. Don't you be shoulder would. rolling. <laughs> I literally cannot fight like that. Like I, oh, I that's have how you to get be the money. That's team. how you win. There that's you how go. you get the money. That's Technicality. You know, that's, I, I had a I boxing stand <laughs> fighting before I started boxing. I always <laughs> stood with my left hand in front, my and my banger in the back. That's how I always stood. Back. 
Yeah, ain't nobody fighting you. You're talking no, about banging in the back. You just lost. Yeah, you just lost that little challenge. Yeah, you man. might, yeah, you put might your throw that out the window, man. You uh, better come uh, up with something else, man. A cooking challenge or something. You know what people will do for a hundred thousand? Not die. <laughs> they ain't got to die for shit. Hey, what's up, it's your man Carlos Miller? And I just want to know: Is your money working as hard for you as it could be for your future? I mean, a decade ago. Robinhood changed the whole investment landscape when they pioneered commission-free stock trading. Today, they continue to offer innovative products to help users build a better financial future like IRAs, ETFs, options for qualified traders, and much more. Take control of your financial future with Robinhood. Download the app or visit Robinhood.com to learn more. Investing involves risk. Other fees may apply. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC is a registered broker dealer. If you don't box for real, you might die like fighting sure the real box. Some more gloves so you can get one. I need people. I need the people to stop disrespecting professionals. One, for, for instance, <laughs> one nigga for instance, they need to stop disrespecting professional. Any type. I don't of think anything. it was. I don't. Don't think... disrespect the professional athlete. Don't disrespect the professional. I don't think CPA. it was disrespect. The niggas an accountant don't think you know more math than them because you was good in school. No, you fucking no, don't. I don't think it was disrespect. I feel like sometimes no. people are curious. I, I, I'm sorry. I was just on another rant because. People be like online talking shit about like NBA players talking about they trash. I was like, this nigga will destroy everybody that you know, anybody in your family one on one. So, bro, you had the funniest tweet for like one of my top favorite tweets. Oh shit, come on. That one game, Kobe like fucked his finger up or his wrist or some mm -hmm. shit. Like he had broke his wrist or some shit, mm -hmm. and then the nigga shot two free throws. He, he tore his uh, Achilles. That's what it was. And you was like, nigga, if you tore your Achilles, your bitch ass couldn't even eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You hear me? That nigga got up, sat down, got up again, shot two free throws, made them bitches, and 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 waited till they found and walked his ass over to the sideline and still tried this shit some more. He was like, I don't, hold on. Nigga tried to grab and said, hold on, let me see real quick, just because I can't That's feel it. That's crazy, because I might could do something. That nigga is ins was insane, man. R.I.P. the GOAT. I love Kobe. I met, I met him in person. He was so nice, man. Oh, that's fine. Humble dude. Oh, where? Where'd you meet him? I met him Came at- Came to a fight? Mm-mm. Oh. I it's met him at oh no shit the yeah. BET Stop Awards yeah. BET Honors BET Honors oh dope yep I, I I met I met him that day and I met Shaq but I got a picture like I was standing right next to Kobe I couldn't believe it I yeah. saw him I walked to him I was like I was like can I get a picture damn and he looked at me he was like I was like I'm a boxer he was like okay I said okay man and I asked him I grabbed my phone I took a picture I just was like ah, fuck right. <laughs> Kobe right here I was. I think I've been starstruck meeting Kobe and me and Ice Cube. That's Ice Cube. Oh man, I I was. You're a fan my, of his movies or his music? His both. All right. But he had a movie called All About the Benjamins. That was me, and my grandma, my favorite movie. Man, man, man what? what? I we watched it. Oh, love that movie. That's it. That movie funny. That man. movie is funny. Funny now. It, it never not be funny ever. Like. Class. Funniest movie ever. Still got time machine. When that nigga told Mike, yo, jump, I'm going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, Mike went and crazy. That nigga was that. sitting in that boat. Hell yeah, I need this month. <laughs> Me and my old catch all kind of catfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so You sound just like him. Boy. Yeah. Crazy. One time for Mike. Hell yeah. That's hard, though. It, I mean, you never know who you're going to be starstruck with. Yeah, for real. Because some people, you just see them and you don't even expect that shit. They just be in the most random place. I met Kobe before, man. I played college basketball with Chris Paul's older brother, CJ. And I went to his game with the Hornets that was playing the Lakers and was waiting for him to come out of the locker room. And Kobe came up to <laughs> see CP. He was like, hey, little motherfucker. And just started, just started cussing that nigga out. Just like on some love shit, but still just like that's how he was. I was like, damn. That's crazy. So that was dope. Rest in peace to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard, man. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to Kobe. I don't know. I can't believe you came through here and didn't have to whoop nobody ass. She did. I mean, that. The nigga came close his mouth still. Look. Yeah, he <laughs> fucking <laughs> knocked his mouth open. <laughs> 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 nigga look like a rock'em sock'em, nigga. He fucked up. No, I was, I mean, honestly, I like those type of challenges. You know, I think that we need to get this stereotype about women's boxing. 
out the window. Like it's it's a real stereotype that mm-hmm. one 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 stereotype is that we're all butch, like we're all like gay mm-hmm. and stud and manly. Let's let's get rid of that because that shit ain't true. Um, another thing is that. Is that no? It's not. Oh, okay. You stop it. I'll be quiet. You fucking stop it. Right. You know, I read an article though, and the girl was saying that it's a lot of peer pressure to not be like that in WNBA. And I was like, Are you fucking serious? I wish the bitch would try to make me be gay. <clears throat> no, nah, man. Well, you know what? What right. men are waiting on from the WNBA? It's for these on. women to really start acting like. NBA players and start tricking off on some of these niggas, man. <laughs> hey, what? It's time. Catching. Put a nigga up in an apartment, it's man. It's time. It's time for, for some Fly me out. Say, fly me out. Come on, man. Don't fly First me out. class me. Delta won me. Come on. Where do y'all mind be at? Man. What you talking about? Been, what? Yeah, what man. Mean? Why not, though? They should be tricking they wanna, off. It's equality. It's All about equality, fucking- right? Dodge charges and on, challenges man. and hellcats All that money packs just sitting at the lot. It should be some rich women somewhere man. buying two, three, four of them a year. What? Oh, the strip club make it rain. Make it rain. They don't even make enough to do no shit like that. They need that. They about to start. That's what we saying. That's, that's the, what I'm coming. saying. They, they get more endorsements. Hell and, and they start, yeah. Like some teams are actually making money this year. They're like making rain. Nike, cut the check. Cut that check, man, so they could pick me up. We want some $100 million women. Come on, man. On buy this street. dick, girl. <laughs> 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 buy this dick, Angel Reese. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Niggas gonna be standing outside them goddamn hotels and stuff. Gonna have his inches on that ah, bitch. No shirt on. He what with your boy? Name, number, and inches. <laughs> I'm finna text your phone. I'm finna. T- <laughs> 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 Niggas on the bottom floor trying to count up. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, they got. They on the eleventh floor, yo, on the thirteenth. They got to do like niggas do. Send their homegirl down there. You, 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 come upstairs. The rest of y'all niggas. They come down. Rest of y'all niggas go home. They come downstairs in the middle of the night. It's just niggas sitting out there in the lobby eating M and M's and shit. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Doing push ups in the lobby. <laughs> Getting ready, dog. Like, yeah, she in shape, so I gotta be in shape. Oh shit. We, yeah, man, yeah, I, I I agree with that, Los. Niggas in the parking lot dribbling all night. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out. See if she want to watch film. <laughs> <laughs> See if she want to go with some game tape. Niggas going right. to be out there like the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> They in they soft girl era for real now. I'm with it, bro. Nigga got tear away pants. No man. draw. They Come up. They- I right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> they getting their own shoes too, man. It's up. What? It's up for the WNBA. Come so on, yeah, man. Fly us out. Stop playing, man. Hey. Cancun me. <laughs> Shit. Nah, nah, nah. That's cheap. Cabo me. I'm tripping. I need to like know my worth. Nigga, go to Cancun. Uh huh. First Cancun time. Cancun cheap though, bro. Give a fuck. Nah, Cabo, me. Nah, I need to see. I need to, I need to take pictures, bro. You gotta work your way up. Cabo got the mountain in the back and don't, shit. Hey, like, don't, yeah, don't price us out the game my first year. I got to, bro. Uh, I got to, man. I'm gonna fuck it up year. for everybody. Uh, I want them to be able to do it for a couple <laughs> songs. <laughs> Could you imagine them going to like a strip club and throwing, <laughs> a male strip club and throwing money and shit? They ain't gonna go to no strip club. They're just gonna go where a bunch of men are. <laughs> just start throwing money at Walmart. They at the car wash, acting <laughs> fool. <laughs> she never got that, broke the Range Rover through to get it oh, detailed. Shit. All that little 500 in the ashtray, keep, keep that, little that. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> little buddy. <laughs> Hey, it's a blunt in there too if you want. This some Zop. Ooh! If I was in WNBA, I would definitely go to the male strip club and throw money. You play basketball too? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wasn't good though. I wasn't all that. I, I was good at ready track. To fight every foul. You was a track star. You fucking track. <laughs> yeah, I ran track, track yeah, cross yeah. country. Oh, cross played, country? Played baseball too. Ooh. Oh shit. Fuck cross country. Yeah, but no. Don't say that. Basketball. That's tough. That, you don't know the you don't know the excitement of whooping 500 white people. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do, nigga. I felt like the coldest nigga the first time I had to <laughs> cross country meet. I'm saying it's tough. It just ain't for me. Like, I, I, that's tough. I, I that salute shit, y'all. That shit is tough. That's salute y'all. Especially when you run out there and, like, I ran before and it was, like, kind of like raining and they had it, like, it was, uh, it was uphill, right. downhill. Oh, it, it was wet out when there. It they, the, the, the cross country meet still going on. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing stopping it. But I was just always been kind of big and stuff. So, well, or, you know, a heavier set. So, when I'm up there in the top, 30 with all the white people, man. They be the white people. They be like, look, look at the little black girl. Look, I used look to fuck the black them up. Like, I used oh, to shit. fuck them up in some no, cross bro. country, bro. Mm-hmm. Them people be over there, man. You be like, ain't no, 
They praying and shit. They got on what would Jesus do bracelets? <laughs> they praying and shit. They done, they done had a whole FCA meeting before this shit. Yeah. They eating peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <laughs> they just doing white people shit. They really in their element. You showed up with a Dr. Pepper. Showed up with a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> smelling like a blunt from last night. <laughs> what the ass out. What the ass <laughs> Nah, at cross country, that just running like that, we used to have to run with the cross country team for basketball, and I was like, I'm finna quit basketball too. Hey man, fuck <laughs> this shit. They just tricked me though, cause I had I ran in ninth grade, mm-hmm. eighth and ninth grade. Then when I got to like tenth grade, they wanted me to like do all this other shit. I'm like, hey bro, I've been there before. Yeah, y'all came and asked me to do this. I'm not about to do all this shit. I ain't like the That's coach. How they get you. Yeah, I, I'm glad I ain't. That shit, there, there's no way I could have. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is tough. Damn. Feet would have been no toe off. Fuck. Hurting. You got to be Kenyan to be good at that shit, bro. Kenyans got it. I don't know what's up with their heart. Bro, once I found out that these motherfuckers is literally born, but you can't beat them people. Yeah, they're born to run that. I, mean, I cheer for them. Yeah. And if I'm, I like when America has some African people who's representing, I was like, all right, we win that now. Yeah. There's one Kenyan that got hurt, and another Kenyan had went and finished the race and ran back and got the nigga and bought him. That's how good they <laughs> That's how good they are. He made he finished the, He hit the little tape and then ran back and got that nigga and crossed him. I was like, damn, he wasn't even tired. He wasn't. Damn. He carried another nigga that Probably went, went to work after that. <laughs> and sandals. Oh, yes. I made it done. <laughs> Probably went to work after that. It's sick. Oh, shit. Oh, one more promotion? Yeah. I get one off? Um, more Than Culture? Podcast. It's also on 85 of the app as well. And I got my um, comedy special just came out. Hi, I'm Tyler. H I G H. I'm Tyler on Tubi. So fuck with it. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. I ain't know y'all was here. Yeah. I ain't know y'all yeah. was here. I'm a definitely a Tubi fan. I'll be watching. Fuck with it. Yeah. H I G H. I'm Tyler. Fuck with it. Yeah, if people, you don't like it, don't beat me up. Michigan got a, they taking over the uh they been had two be movies. They been had two. Oh, Detroit going crazy Detroit. right now. Yeah. What's my nigga name? What's my nigga name? Murder uh, Pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and man, my dog Criminal Man got about four movies on there. Yeah. Rapper from Memphis. He what just, you got on he there? just dropped the new one. Go watch it. I know it's you got something on there. there. I don't know. I'm sure you uh, oh, in some Part Man's on there, ain't it? No. It's on all black. Well, I miss some shit. How yeah. high two? How high two is on there? I'm on some shit. Yeah. So sometimes people just send me clips. I be forgetting. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't had my breakout role yet, but continue to support my acting career. There it is. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's come. Support. Yeah. Don't be mad if I have to play a cop. Take over where Ice, Ice T left off. <laughs> Nigga, what? You could be working for sixty years. I don't be mad fuck. at you at I'll be, all. I'll be so done with this shit, man. What? I'll be on there for real. You be like that nigga had to be the police before he acting too good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that Ice T career arc is crazy. So if you did that, bro, man, more power to you. I would love to see that. That would be amazing. Ice T, L L Cool J, Shamar Moore. Bro, I feel like at some point as a black man actor, you just got to be a cop. Yeah, Shamar Moore been a cop for twenty some years. People don't know that shit. Uh, what's the nigga on? Uh, really? Anthony Anderson was a cop. I mean, damn. Kevin Think about Hart was a cop. Everybody was a cop. Yeah. Wayne Dwayne Rock was a cop. Everybody's a cop. Everybody's a cop. Everybody Everybody got to get a little cop role in you, man. When you, especially when you're black, man. Sometimes it's like, how they do it? It's going to be cop or criminal. I want the stereotypical cop role. You want to like uh, be like cricket? Mm-mm. Oh, that's stereotypical. Cop. You know, like a uh, broke ass, broke ass uh, detective. Oh, okay. Drive his own car to work. <laughs> Don't follow none of the rules. <laughs> Soon as the movie come on, you got to go in Sarge's office and get get chewed out. Chewed out. Listen, this is my last time covering <laughs> for you. Why was there a goddamn shootout downtown last night? <laughs> Sarge, I can explain. <laughs> Don't fucking explain this shit. <laughs> This is my last time with you, Brooks. Yo. Brooks, this is your last time. Then he pull out the brown envelope with the next case on there. Yo. Seven-year-old math genius. Yo. I need you to take him to school and from school, and that's all I need. I don't want any more shit out of you, Brooks. Bro, you are ruining the plot of Bad Boy 4. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't out yet. You got to chill, bro. What is this new drug on the streets? <laughs> That was three. Ten times stronger than crystal meth, a <laughs> hundred times more deadly than fentanyl. <laughs> it's called got it all. Got it all. And we got to get in with the Chinese so we can get it off the streets. Are you in or you out, Brooks? <laughs> the only thing is if you get caught, 
I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What's then it? you walk out and slam the door. That's when I get my little one line off. You can count on me, sorry. Bruh. I ain't going to let you down. I ain't going to lie, bruh. I was, yeah, I was, I was about to write a movie for y'all. I just, I've got it now. That's right. it. Man. That's it, bro. I, you gonna have to play both of them niggas now. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, you just did that. I, you gonna have to spend a little time in makeup. Your last chance, bro. <laughs> you gotta spend a little time in makeup, nigga. But you have to be both of them niggas. <laughs> Smoking a half a cigar. <laughs> Listen, bro. <brothers. laughs> Don't let me know on this one. With a fat suit on. With a fat suit on. <laughs> Big Steve Harvey, motherfucker. If you come through for me on this one, <laughs> yeah. I'll be down in Florida on a boat in no. Oh, uh, man. You know how the movie ends. In Florida on the boat. Come on, man. <laughs> I already know, bro. Everything that happens in the middle is just... like a motherfucker, man. I already done wrote it. I need you in it. You was here, I got it. Come on. Mm -hmm. I need you in the movie. Wasn't it like Gabriel Union or something? You, you know, up in the one movie, she was the one that was like, that was she, was was the, she was the undercover, remember, mm -hmm. in the Bad Boys? Undercover. Mm -hmm. You got to play, you got to play my sister. Mm -hmm. So that way I can write the scene in where the shit pop off. You can knock a motherfucker smooth Way out. Sploo! The wrong motherfucker, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't even the right one. The wrong yeah. motherfucker. That's how we start the movie off. Right. Wrong motherfucker got knocked off. Yep. I need I, you on I my I done side. been in some movies. I need you on my side. What's movies? Shout them out, so people. Lola two. Lola two, come on. Um, I've been on Pink Fight. Uh, right. uh, Lisa Ray had directed that one, and then um, is it one more? Lola two, Pink Fight. Am I missing one? It's just two. Yeah. And the one that's coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fire inside. Come on, man. But Did I'm you want to get more into shit like that? Yeah, I mean, as much as I love fighting, you know. I'm only gonna retire once I can't whoop these girls no more. And I think that'd probably be about like, oh, it's my 29. <sighs> Somewhere in between like 40 or something like that. Mm. 42. <laughs> but. Man, chill out. Logically. <laughs> <laughs> chill out, bro. Logically, it's like, at, I wanna retire at 35, 38. Like, I wanna, you know. But yeah. it's like, if I can still whoop these girls' ass, I might not retire until I'm 50. You're gonna have to. What? You had to keep whooping their ass because they're going to say something. No, you know, I think I'm going to grow out of that, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But if I don't, I don't mind it. You're going to grow out of it. Meanwhile, your grandma up here. <laughs> That's going to be Hey, you. everybody that got lined up deserved to get lined up. <laughs> anybody, anybody, everybody deserved it. Like, that's one thing. My grandma was real nice to me. And I realized, like, I asked her one time, I said, why are you so mean, grandma? And she just was like, Coco, I wasn't always this way. That's my name for her, Coco. And I said, well, what happened? She said, y you will see. And she damn right. I mm. see. Mm. A lot of motherfuckers deserve to get lined up. That's how it go. And, and I respect her for doing that. And I'm going to be the same way. That's your T-shirt, get lined up. <laughs> <laughs> That's that first one free. I ain't going to lie to you. So the first one free. <laughs> Whole yeah. campaign. Whole campaign. Get lined up. Line them up, knock them down. Bomb Gardner. You feel me? Eat some, eat some oatmeal. Come up to 154. Get your head knocked off. I'm That's still what pushing. That's all you gotta do. Oatmeal, potatoes, and peanut butter. You know what time it is. Fuck Bomb Gardner. She better win her next fight. I know that. Oh, yeah, don't lose, bro. Go to it. But I ain't. You will see if I beat her. Don't lose, Bomb Gardner. When I, when, I, when I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. I ain't going to shit. I'm not. Y'all, look, I spoke about it. I'll probably tell y'all after this is over, like, cut that shit. Fuck uh -huh. that bitch. Oh, we gotta get the fight, though. The, yeah. fight, the fight ain't gonna happen. I'm mad too. I need, you to, I, need you, you, yeah, I, I need you to. I need you, you to cut it. The men is howling out of the. Out of we'll bleep the name out. Well, guess who? Cut it, it. Cut it to like, what do we did? Four minutes on that. Cut it down to a minute, minute right. and a half. Okay, we got too much. Really, it's fuck her. Yeah. Anybody who rock with her, fuck her. I just want to get the fight going. Mm, that's cool. I want to get the fight too. But I don't even think she wants the fight, so she probably gonna be mad at you for that. Hey, well, shit, I don't fight, so chill out. <laughs> Don't get mace fights, man. Huh? Yeah, y'all got to come. Yeah, now nah, boxing is it's it's crazy going to an actual match because you know normally you used to watch it on TV and you can hear them talking about the fight, but when you there, all you hear is us, 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 us. oh yeah, I, I, I've That's been hard. to a couple. Yeah, oh okay, I ain't know my bad. Who you been to see fight? Uh, we went to a fight in Miami. We had this. I don't. I can't talk about. It. <laughs> I can't. 
I can't Uh-oh. talk about it. What? I, I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Who you watching get beat up? Somebody you thought you thought was gonna win, they lost. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Well, that's what you don't worry about with me, though. If you if you come cheering for me, I'm gonna win. Okay, that was. All you gotta worry about. Hey. Oh, we already know that. You gonna be feeling so bad for the other girl. You gonna be like, God oh, damn, hey. Chris. She she signed up. She got paid, didn't she? Yeah, but y'all gonna be like, God. I don't feel bad if nobody got paid for their job. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> and now if she went in there, got beat up, and they were like, well, well you gotta wait for your check on Tuesday. I'd be like, oh, that's fucked up. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, that's fucked up. That'd be fucked up, but I ain't gonna be mad. You signed up for this. This is you're a boxer. You fight, you win and lose. That's what you signed up for. So no, I can't you win. I mean, they win and you lose. You win. Damn, she be scaring the shit out of me. Fuck. <laughs> Every time she moves, I'm like, hey. Like, I usually stand on business, but I'm a chill. <laughs> she don't understand we got PTSD for yeah. being around a lot of the wrong women. <laughs> That's You said something, bro. We got to go. Look like y'all might have deserved to get hit. What? Y'all might have deserved it. Don't nobody deserve to get hit. That, what? Oh, there we go, Los. Nope. That's, what we needed. That's how we should have started this off. <laughs> no. No one deserves to get hit. No, absolutely not. Say the wrong shit. I hope you listening. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you listening, my boy. Still <laughs> loud. Yeah. <laughs> this is ex- this is excluded, but he's excluded. Tony's excluded because people think that, like I said, the whole stereotype thing. Like they feel like I boss him around, and tell him to shut up. And you think ass. you don't have? I you don't. don't have to. He's seen what you capable of. <laughs> <laughs> Look like, you want to get hit with no goddamn ah. set piece because the garbage ain't took out. Yeah. <laughs> what a goddamn garbage ah. ain't took out. <laughs> 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 he ain't got to be in but one wreck to drive slow. <laughs> she don't even be saying shit. She be like, I sure would like something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Ah. Uh. That what you know. mean you sleep? Put the out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. y'all crazy. That's stupid. Oh man. Hell no. How long have you been married? We engaged. We ain't got married yet. Oh, okay. We've been engaged so. for two years. So we get invited to the fight, but not the wedding. Crazy. We ain't even booked it. We ain't booked oh, it yet. Right. Cool. But for those who don't know, because everybody always talking about some, you engaged, you engaged. <laughs> I y'all got, y'all, y'all got a camera to zoom in because hey, the rock is huge. I bet she I mean, was like, sure would like to be in gas. Nigga dove in there on his knee. I'm sorry. Oh, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Damn, I was going. I was to, in the bathroom. I'm so sorry. I was going to wait on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday coming up. <laughs> y'all are sick. I sure would like to be in gas. <laughs> They bring me something to eat home. Oh, uh, no. Nah. Please don't put no pickles Yo. on the burger, please. But they, y'all from the same place. How, how long? Y'all been knowing each other since. How can you imagine fucking up her order? <laughs> I, met, <laughs> I met my fiance four and a half years ago. Um, oh, okay. I was just getting out of a relationship, and he was in love with me within a week. <laughs> sure would like to be Man. in love. <laughs> that seemed unnecessary. <laughs> That seemed very unnecessary. <laughs> I asked, when, I asked how long y'all knew each other. <laughs> but that's awesome, man. Black love, I love it. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Boy. Boy, boy. <laughs> hey, what was Ryan Garcia talking about? Having a super baby. Some slavery <laughs> shit. I don't know what's wrong with my Some boy. slavery shit. Yeah, he's talking about we need to breed a child and have a superhuman. He said that to you? Yeah, he inboxed me. I just wrote him back three words. You need you need help. Or was it four words? You need help, Ryan. Nah, yeah, he yeah he do though he do. He needs serious he help. Yep, I didn't know he said that. That's crazy. Yeah, like we need to have a, a superhuman. Super I'm like, what? I know I'm a bad bitch, but uh, first of all, I'm way more accomplished than you. You ain't even caught up. Be talking that shit, but um, Ryan, you you gonna fuck around and get beat up by Tony talking about you wanna have a baby with me? Right. We're gonna get hit. Don't even see it come bow. <laughs> Tony, you better not be able to beat up Ryan Garcia. <laughs> Street fighting is different, bro. Street fighting and boxing way different. I knew he was thrown off the other day when that motherfucker was sitting in the car with that orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it crazy? Hey, what kind like, of monkey ass shit I'm is like, this? Bruh, 
this is a ring and tank. Fuck this whole shit. Up. Man, what? He would pull your face off. Man, that motherfucker just pulled the steering wheel off real quick. He just grabbed you with that one hand. Ain't man. shit they gonna be able to do. Ring your neck. But the, the ring and tank was kind of fucked up too, because it just sat there like a hood grandma eating grapes. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Yeah, you feed him, I guess you'd be all right if you don't want Nah, to. I had knew something was wrong with me in that interview when he was like, NGQ, doing what I do. Man. All white. Looking nice. I said, oh, this motherfucker done lost it. I ain't he ain't lost it, though. He ain't lose it. Yeah. I don't think he lost it. That nigga, he ain't lost it. He ain't, he ain't lost it. Mm -hmm. He made Haney lose it. That fight was vicious. That was, that was, yeah, hot. It was. That was hard to watch mm -hmm. as a black was, man. That shit was vicious. It was. It, it was, was. was hard to watch, man, especially when I had a couple dollars on it. Yeah, tomorrow we get the results on if he tests positive for oh, that's, I was wondering how long is it. Okay, it's, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Is it 22nd tomorrow? Oh, yeah. 22nd? Yeah. Today, 21st. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow. You get the results tomorrow. Okay. He on something. May not be PEDs, but that nigga was on meth or something. He said all, all he do is drink and smoke weed. I said, I know a lot of motherfuckers that drink and smoke weed and they don't act like you. Right. Right. Because ain't no way you got that much energy if you have. If you that high. Mm -hmm. Unless he drinking a, four, a two or less. His ass ain't sit down yet. Nigga drinking four loco. That must be the wrong kind of weed. Why is he smoking weed that got him up and bouncing around? I don't. If a motherfucker sold me that kind of weed, I'm I like, was what up. You doing? I would go back and be like, man, this some bullshit. <laughs> Rid of this Adderall. I want this energetic ass weed. <laughs> with you. Give me some shit that's going to have me watching a TV show from 1993. Yeah, give me some sit your ass down. I want to watch the first season of Married with Children. That's how stuck <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> Al Bundy was tripping, bro. I ain't going to lie. Peg was straight. Yeah, he was tripping. Yeah. Oh, he said, nah. Yeah, he was tripping, right? He was tripping. He was tripping. Come on, man. Everybody say that. Yeah, bro. But one probably had he... ED before that white name was Ed. <laughs> oh, just a pause. Go ahead. Did DC leave yet? No. I need to flick with him. Tell him don't. I ain't want to interrupt. You know, I was like, get your ass over come here. Come back. I was about to tell him, hey, come over here. But I ain't want to seem too aggressive. Oh, I didn't know that was him. No. Before we wrap it up, tell them your social media and where they can follow your YouTube and all yeah. that. Yeah, so we all know my name is Clarissa Shields. Not Rissa, Rissa. So C-L-A-R-E-S-S-A. Shields, S H I E L D S. I got a blue check mark on Instagram, blue check mark on Facebook and Twitter. And then on YouTube, it's Clarissa Shields One. I'm at 56,000, 56.8 subscribers. I need to get to 100K. So subscribe, like, comment. I be going live on there. I talk about all type of stuff. And uh, I'm pretty dope. So yeah, follow me. Okay. <laughs> How do they get the $100,000 challenge? How do they even put that out? Say it again? How, the $100,000 challenge, how do they get that to you? Oh, I'm going to have auditions. So oh, when I when I have the auditions, um, like I said, the girls have to go through a little something. And then after they get through the other girls, then they get the chance to go against me. And whichever girl can, you know, with me, get 100K. Okay. Come on. 100,000. Life for your life, literally. Look at you. Is you trying to read mine or something, nigga? Uh-huh. Nigga, read mine. I'm going to get up. Wait a minute. D.C. <laughs> The quote need a motherfucking picture. Yeah, come on Lie. over here. What's up, nephew? What up, though? <laughs> 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 nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Shit. I was there when you performed in Flint in that fucking old lady. Oh, that motherfucker was off the chain in oh, Flint. Yeah, it was. Um, We got something for you. Oh, yeah. This me? This you. Okay. Got the name. And, and I love when you're bearing, bearing <laughs> gifts. <laughs> That's a good smell, oh, ain't it? Okay, I'm about to have some money. Grandma. Okay. <laughs> you know, I love people put, put quote on the back. What you got on the back here? 85 South Show. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll fuck with it. Five. Like the stitch. Well, you want to beat bitches up? <laughs> Shit, somebody gotta do it. Yeah. My mama and grandma will be my bitches dog. up. Then mm -hmm. the, the one you don't want to pull up. I don't call my cuz. <laughs> I, I ain't even want to argue with bitch. This back. I don't, don't even talk. Cuz. Pull up. You lying to me. Oh, you ain't cool. cool. <laughs> you don't want to no, no question. <laughs> Where you at, Where cool? you at? How many? Motherfucker's born to beat bitches up. <laughs> <laughs> she is not playing. She is not playing. Yeah, you got any cousins in order to fight? <laughs> you got any cousins, sisters in order to fight? Hell yeah. Sister, alpha female. Who the hell she thinks she is? Don't she thinks she you. What? She it's a setup, Fly. She Shit. don't win like you. That question you was, win. That question was a setup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you so, thought that was something? 
swollen in the bed. You thought that was something? Yeah, nah, she ain't talking about like that. Uh, nah, I don't, never mind then. You got to get somebody rougher. I, I don't want, I oh, you want to fight? Yeah, I got, bro. I got 100K for this any set up. Oh, uh-huh. Hell no. Nah. But bro. my sister would get in there and try your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what did she want to do? Hold up. <laughs> she a professional. I told you. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to fight you for the 100000 man. You My sister fine. will get her ass whooped for 100000 though. No cap. <laughs> nah, she got to win. Gotta win. It got to be a little token for the losers. <laughs> 25. All right. If she'll get in there, she'll think about it. She'll like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in there. 25. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Damn. <laughs> ain't gonna be in that long, Emma. <laughs> no. You gonna go and get me on the body, ain't you? <laughs> Don't be practicing on me. Hit me with the best shot. Yeah, yeah. 25. 100,000. 100,000. Give me the black phone. Give me the black one. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, you done beat man. your phone up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga says you done beat your phone up. <laughs> Damn, you pressing hard as hell. <laughs> oh, shit. What? I just showed you video when I, when I punched these dudes earlier. Oh, man. When? Thad ain't Lou Young. She punched Thad. They asked me they to They asked her to punch him in the stomach. <laughs> I told you, thank you. Where's Thad going to cheat the left? I'm trying to That's why he keep slow, going but... in. He's trying to catch his brush. <laughs> So he ain't closed his mouth since he been in here. In the oh, chair? Oh, he's a trick. Knock his ass out. You talking about too? Oh, with the glove. I thought you went raw hand. I was. Like, I had to put. He was crazy. I was. I'm put on there for your protection. This nigga here trying to catch asthma. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, nigga. I'm going to knock that nigga through the wall, man. What the hell wrong with that hey, man? He ran. He, he ran. ran. Hey, you got to see, see when she punched Luke. Oh, let me see. Let me see. That nigga ran. He jumped up with his phone and shit. Watch this. Acting crazy. I was sitting right, through he him. He wanna play. Yeah, he was playing at first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can tell. Oh. He oh. His tongue came out of his mouth. Ooh. <laughs> Them niggas is crazy. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no motherfucking way. Okay, yes, wow. Hell no. Nah. Uh, you wanna have to, I had to your sister when you said get it out quick. I hit no, that. Yeah, that. You can't hit no civilian with that. She'll, she'll get in there for that 25. It gotta be a token for the loser, though. 25. 25. Too much, man. Still, though, somebody gotta leak it. Just feel okay by getting their ass whooped. They be like, at least, yeah, at least I wasn't leave. scared, though. You can't get knocked out and leave out with zero. Though. That one of them I wasn't scared, though, tokens. Maybe I give them a little, a little change for their heart. Or something, something yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, something. Fly them out, put them up in somewhere nice, like the Ritz or something, you know what I'm saying? Throw them a little. I mean, they, they, they be put up anywhere. In a little recovery anywhere. room, about four days. They can be put up anywhere, but what I'm trying to tell you is, <laughs> they going to count that money on the way home like she is. That I ain't tripping. <laughs> <laughs> man, I got 25,000. Man, you good. That ain't something, man. Nigga, jaw broke, little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? I got 25, man, bro. Ain't nobody spend that shit y'all talking about. That make it a whole di- way different, bro. Hey, that make it way different. Think about it. Look, I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to take my bills up. I ain't going to tell me. It's just going to happen. Yeah, it's up, up. That's what you did. That's what you did. Man, I got 25,000, though. Hey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Nah. Mm. Nigga done got that ad work for free, huh? Hell no. Nah. Not free. Now you get your ad work for losing, nigga be like, you know what? Maybe I just need to be a good ad loser. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking I can whoop ass. No, nah, I just know how to take ass whooping. <laughs> it's a difference. Man, that's a professional though, man. What? Professional ass whooping way different than a street nigga, ass whooping. Once he get back up, you like, man, you got, you got. Oh, you gonna throw it on? This shit over with, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he don't work. They just oh, God. Let's do the job. I'm gonna talk like, like, like stupid ass, but I gotta take this shit off again. <laughs> Put this on. Try to whisper. Oh, shit, man. We got a wh- he got a white whisper voice. <laughs> You got your picture? Hey, guy. Nah. Oh, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> hey, man. Clarissa Shields, 85 South Show. Fuck around and have another episode. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. <laughs>